write uh, write the equivalent sine and the cosine function which would represent the temperature of a greenhouse if the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature is to be changed to 18 degrees and 10 degrees. So let's write the facts. So you got the maximum. You want maximum of 18 degrees centigrade. And the minimum of 10 degrees centigrade. So from this, these two facts, you can find the baseline. The baseline or the middle line is the average of this, so which is 14 degrees centigrade. And from this, you can say the amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum or the distance from the baseline to the minimum. So it's half, the baseline is always between halfway between maximum and minimum, so it is 4. So you can say it's 4 degrees centigrade. And the last thing we need to do is to find the period. So can we read it further? So if you read further, it says very clearly, yeah, they also want the period to be changed to 12 degrees in 12 hours. So it is 12 hours. Now before we write the equation, it's always good practice to draw a sketch of the sketch of the graph. So so this is this is your y-axis, it's only a sketch, so this is your x-axis. So on x-axis you're taking time, time after midnight, time after midnight. So midnight, so that this is, let's say this is your t-axis, or x-axis is t, and this is your temperature. So let's write that as capital T. So we want to write a function of t in terms of small t. So let me draw the baseline. So the minimum, this is the minimum, this is the baseline, and this is the maximum. So always sketch, so this is maximum, this is baseline and this is minimum. So once you draw the graph it's very easy to write the equation. So minimum is 10. I'm only writing 10. This is 18 and this is 14. Okay so the final information is it's also desired that the maximum temperature of the greenhouse is reached pi by 2 plus 1 hour. So pi by 2 plus 1 after midnight. So that's, this is a positive value. So this is your zero. So this is midnight. This is midnight. Zero is midnight. And on x-axis, we are taking the time in hours after midnight. So pi by 2 plus 1 is, pi by 2 is 1.57. So this is 2.57 roughly. Okay. So in 2 dB, it is 2.57. Pi is 3.14. And half of 3.14 is 1.57. So the graph, so let me use a different color. Okay, let me, white is good. So the graph would look somewhat like this. So what we are saying is this is, this is, so let, let us be exact. So this is pi by 2 plus 1. The x coordinate is pi by 2 plus 1. And the y coordinate is your maximum, which is 18. This is, this would be, this is, if you have got one period, this would be pi by 2 plus, this plus 12, that would be plus 13, comma 8. So because you've got a period of 12 hours. So this is pi by 2 plus 1. So after 12 hours, it will be pi by 2 plus 13. So this would be halfway between, so this is 6 hours. So this would be, pi, the coordinate would be pi by 2 plus 7. So you add 6 hours, which is half the period, comma 10. We also need to write the coordinate of this. So the coordinate of this would be pi by 2. So this is a quarter cycle. A quarter cycle is 3 hours. So if you add 3 to this, so this would be plus 4, comma 14. So if you know these facts, 
now you can write the sine and the cosine graph so, so let me go over these facts so if you're starting at this point if you're starting at maximum at maximum it's a positive cost graph at if you're starting at this point this would be a negative cost graph at this point it would be from this point you're going down so this would be negative sign graph and if you're starting from this point you're going up from this baseline it's a positive sign graph so you can write this the same for the same graph you can write as sine and or cosine so the equation would be so let's write as a positive cost graph that means you're starting at the maximum if you want to write as a positive cost graph the equation would be y is equal to the amplitude the amplitude is 4 cos 2 pi divided by the period what's the period period is 12 times x minus the starting point okay the starting point is pi by 2 plus 1 pi by 2 plus 1 close the bracket one more bracket plus the baseline the baseline is 14 so this is as a positive cost graph if you start at this point it will be a negative sign graph so let me use a different color so the equation would be so I'll slightly raise this up equation would be y is equal to negative 4 sine times 2 pi by 12 you can write as pi by 6 2 pi by 12 times x minus the starting point the starting point is pi by 2 pi by 2 plus 4 and if you open the bracket this will become minus pi by 2 minus 4 plus 14 so both these graphs would be one and the same graph so let me show this on a calculator so let's go to graph and type in so let's delete this so first let me save pi by 6 or you can say 2 shift pi divided by 12 as a letter so this is alpha a so instead of typing 2 pi by 12 you can enter a so go to graph and type in 4 cos bracket alpha a close the bracket x minus this will be pi by 2 shift pi by 2 minus 1 two brackets plus 14 we know we should know this x and the y limits so go to this I'll go from 0 to 24 is good and I'll go from 0 to maximum is 14 no I'll go up to 20 maximum is 20 18 so this is your graph so G solve maximum so this is pi by 2 plus 1 okay and go G solve minimum this would be uh, pi by 2 plus 7 okay and so let's type in the second equation and minus 4 sine bracket alpha a bracket x minus pi by pi by 2 minus 4 2 brackets plus 14 hopefully I've written the equation right yeah pi by 2 minus 4 yeah that's right plus 14 and here's the graph the same graph maximum is this your minimum is this is your minimum the same graph hopefully this video has been helpful